Now comes starts that long chart sheet. My is bad jai na aku min ali Firaun. And just remember, when we delivered you from the people of Firaun, yasumu na kum suwal azab. They were afflicting you with the worst torment. Yuzab behuna abna aku wa yastahiyuna nisaa kum. They were killing your sons and keeping your women alive. Wa fi zale kum balaa um min rabbi kum azim. And in that, definitely, verily. There was a big testing and trial from your Lord. Such persecution you were meeting at the hands of the people of Pharaoh in Egypt, and we delivered you from there. Why is Farakna bekum al Bahra? And how did we deliver you from them? When we separated the sea, when we split the sea waters, from Jainakum, and we delivered you. Farakna ala Pharaoh. And we drowned the people and the army of Pharaoh. One tum tadroon, and you were seeing for yourself. You were there. You were seeing them drowning before your own eyes. Why is Wa'adna Musa arba'ina lailatun? And when we called Moses, alayhi salatu wassalam, for forty nights, definite nights, summa taqasumul ijla. But in his absence, you took to the worship of cow. Min baadhi wan tum zawale moon, and you were the evil doers. You became mushriks. You were worshiping cow, the calf. Summa fauna an kum min baadhi zalik. After that, even after that, we pardoned you, forgave you. La la kum tashkurun, so that you should be grateful and thankful to us. Why is atayna musal kitab wal furqan? And remember when we gave Moses. The book and the thing with which difference can be made between falsehood and right and wrong. La la kum tahtadun, so that you take to the right path, you avail of the guidance. Why is Kala Musa le kawmi? And remember when Moses said to his people, Ya kawmi inna kum zalim tu man fusakum. O my nation, O my people, you have wronged yourselves. Bitti khade kumul ijla. By taking to the worship of calf, fatubu ila barekum. So repent and return to your Lord. Faktulu an fusakum and kill yourself. What does it mean? Those of you who didn't take to the worship of calf should kill and assassinate those who worship the calf. This is the punishment of shirk and irtidad in Islam. And this is the old law, law of the Book of Torah. And as the tradition goes, the Bible, the Old Testament says, seventy thousand of them were killed. The total number was six hundred thousand who left Egypt with Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam. Six hundred thousand. Seventy thousand out of them, they took to the worship of this calf. And now from each tribe. Those people who became kafirs, but they are worshiping kafir is definitely kufr. They became murtad. They had to be killed. Murder killing is the punishment of intellectual Islam. So actually, this is a very important example. Faktulu an fusakum, zalekum an fusakum. Because people of the same tribe, they are one actually. When they were assassinating or killing their own brothers, it was as if they were killing themselves. فَقْتُلُوا أَنْفُسَكُمْ ذَالِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ دَبَارِكُمْ This is better for you, near your Lord, although it appears to be very cruel, although it appears to be something very bad, killing so many people. There is good in it. There is the final benefit in it. ذَالِكُمْ خَيْرٌ لَكُمْ إِنْ دَبَارِكُمْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْكُمْ And then he accepted your tawbah. He accepted your repentance. إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ Verily. He very much accepts Taba, and he is very merciful. Why is called to Ya Musa and No Min Allah Kahatta and Allah Jaharatan? And just remember, now you see that in each ayah there is an incident, and in very brief words it has been described. So we can't go into details. Why is called to Ya Musa and No Min Allah Kahatta and Allah Jaharatan? Fakhrat ko musaay ka to wan tum tanzoor. And just recall when you demanded from Moses. We will never accept you. We will never believe in you, unless we see Allah with our own eyes. 
ayadan when we see allah with our own eyes clearly and plainly only then we shall believe in you that actually this torah has been given to you by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fa akhadatkum as-sa'iqatu on this wrong demand of yours a thunderbolt struck you wan tum tanzurun and you are seeing it eyes and within your sight when you demanded when you placed this demand before moses alayhi salatu wassalam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala struck you with a thunderbolt and you were all dead summa basakum basnakum min ba'd mawtikum la'allakum tashkurun but then we raised you again we raised you alive again after your death brought all of you to life la'allakum tashkurun so that you may be thankful and grateful wazallana alaykum alghamab when they were in the sinai desert when they came out from egypt they were in the sinai peninsula and because this gaza strip was inhabited and there was fear that they will be arrested if they cross this sinai peninsula from the northern coast so they went down along this what is that called gulf of suez and then again the gulf of aqaba then they came up so then that was a long journey in the desert there was nothing to eat and 600000 people 6 lakhs of people and they needed something to eat something to drink no water no food no shelter so allah subhanahu wa taala and you see here allah subhanahu wa taala is showing them miracle after miracle their escape from egypt was a miracle the sea broke into two pieces it was split and there was a way for them to cross the river then when pharaoh and his armies came the two sides of the water met each other and they were drowned so it was a miracle big miracle now three miracles are mentioned here wazallana alaykum alghamab and we caused the clouds to overshadow you wherever this caravan of 600 people was moving a continuous cloud was going along with them so that they are saved from the heat of the sun wazallana alaykum alghamab we gave you the shadow of cloud wanzalna alaykul manna was salwa and we sent down for you the man and salwa man was some sweet grains and salwa was some birds which came in thousands and they easily caught them so they got their proteins from salwa and their carbohydrates from man so all the requirements dietary requirements allah subhanahu wa taala fulfilled for them by a miracle man and salwa kulu min tayyibat ma razaqnakum eat from the pure things which we have given you wa ma zalamuna they couldn't do any wrong to us walakin kanu anfusuhum yaslimun they were doing wrong to themselves when somebody is not thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala he is doing no harm to allah he is doing all harm to himself wa ma zalamuna walakin kanu anfusuhum yaslimun how can anybody do any harm to allah subhanahu wa taala he is above all these things so anybody who is disobeying him is doing harm to himself